In this video we're going to look at some of the uh, basic concepts of current and voltage and how they're applied to uh, what we'll call a combined circuit. If you haven't watched the video on um, simple series circuits and simple parallel circuits, please go and watch those first and then come back to this one. The reason that we call this a combined circuit is that uh, we, have, um, we have one resistor or one light bulb uh, that's in series and then we have two that are in parallel. So in a sense we have uh, a series part of the circuit and a parallel part of the circuit and so that's why we call it combined. We're going to look again at current and voltage and just see um, how that uh, those two concepts apply to this type of circuit. If I bring in a, uh, um, an ammeter again and just pop it down um, in the main part of the circuit, you'll see that uh, we have a current coming through the battery of 1.5 amps. Quick reminder, that means that 1.5 coulombs of charge pass a particular point per second. And uh, that uh, current, all of that current flows through this particular resistor, this light bulb. And then it uh, comes down this part of the circuit. And at this point over here, the current splits. This is the parallel part. And you'll remember from the parallel video that current splits in parallel branches. And it splits in ratio according to the resistance. Now, the two uh, light bulbs that we have here are both 4 ohm resistors. And because they're equal, we would expect the current to split equally in these two branches. So just a reminder that the, uh, the total current in the series part of the circuit is 1.5 amps. If we then bring that down to this branch, you'll notice that the current is split in half, 0.75 amps, and 0.75 amps in that branch. So what's happening is that as the current comes down at this point over here, the current is splitting, and it splits equally because the resistance is equal. That point over there, the current then joins together again, and this then would be the main branch, uh, sorry, the main uh, part of the circuit with the total current flowing, and you notice that the total current then is 1.5 amps. If we consider voltage, uh, I'm going to bring a voltmeter in. Uh, we have a 9 volt battery. A reminder what that means. Uh, a 9 volt battery uh, indicates that each coulomb of charge is getting 9 joules of energy. Uh, so one of these little charges coming out here, if we imagine that constitutes a coulomb of charge, it has 9 joules of energy to use in its journey around the circuit. Now notice that every single charge has to go through this resistor and therefore it will use some of its energy in that resistor and so there'll be a certain voltage over that light bulb. Once that the charges have gone through there, they come down this part of the circuit and at this point over here they split and they either go through this particular light bulb there or they go through this one. Notice they can't go through both. A charge coming through here, this particular light bulb, cannot also go through that one. So all charges only go through two light bulbs in their journey around the circuit. All of them through this one, and then either that one or that one. And so if we use our analogy again, the charges are picking up uh, monster drinks, energy drinks. They get nine of them because it's a nine volt battery. They will drink some of their monster drinks there, and then the rest either here or there. If we take our voltmeter out, we check the uh, voltage of the battery. It's obviously 9 volts because it's a 9 volt battery. If we then go across to this particular resistor and we check the voltage over it, it gives us, sorry, let me just swap those around, it gives us a reading of 6 volts. And what that means is that each charge that comes through here each coulomb of charge is using up 6 joules of energy, or the 6 joules of energy are being transferred to the light bulb to, uh, to provide the light. And so in terms of our analogy, the people are drinking 6 monster drinks here, and every charge comes through this one. So all charges are going to use up 6 of their uh, monster drinks, they're going to uh, um, use 6 joules of energy, which means that the charges coming out on this side over here have only got 3 left. Notice that, they start with 9, they use 6 over here, that's showing 6 over that light bulb, which means that they have 3 left. So these charges coming down here have got, each coulomb has got 3 joules of energy, according to our analogy, they've got 3 monster drinks. Now those charges can either go through here and use the 3 up, or 
through the bottom resistor and use 3 up there. So we would expect then that the resist the, sorry the the voltage over this light bulb sorry again I've got those mixed up that shows 3 volts and across this one it's also showing 3 volts. So just to recap 6 volts here total of 9 volts from the battery 6 volts used in the first and all charges have to go through that one because it's in series then the charges either go through this one and use up 3 volts or through this one and use up 3 volts. So again the principal resistors in parallel have the same voltage 3 volts. Resistors in series they then will use the remaining voltage uh, so it's 6 volts in this resistor and 3 either there or there to give us the total of 9 volts.